This way of doing dreadlocks is out of date, old fashioned, very traditional, and there are better ways of doing it. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to an episode of Great Locks. I'm Gunther the Great, and I'm gonna show you what not to do when starting out your dreadlocks if you don't want to waste your time and take a lot of time with creating them. So let's see what not to do. So this is a starter lock tutorial from Impress Locks UK. So they're using a spray bottle, tapered comb, gel oil cream, clips, and hair bands. First and foremost, these are quite a bit of products that you're gonna be using in order to do it this route. We have a 4C hair type that we're working with right here. So everything she's doing right here is perfectly fine. This is what you would wanna do on any style of creating dreadlocks, but it looks like she's using a tapered comb and she put some sort of product actually on the comb to comb out the hair, which is actually quite genius. And that's actually a good step. But what she's doing in today's video is she is going to be doing twisting with gel and doing comb coils using her tapered comb now of course you can do comb coils and have your hair turn out like this which is a very traditional route of getting dreadlocks which is actually extremely easy to do on the front end and trust me it takes a long time and here's a little disclaimer i'm telling you guys not to do this but this is exactly what i did on my set of dreadlocks let me rephrase the title don't do this if you want to get your dreadlocks now if you want them quick this is for all those people that want their hair done instantly if you're up for the entire journey and let me tell you it's going to be longer than a year for your hair to actually even initially start locking up and that's with choosing this route of twisting with gel it's going to take a lot of time so if you don't want to take all that time don't go this route it's not going to work out for you and a lot of people will go to a loctician and say hey i want dreadlocks and then the loctician will twist all their hair up using twisting gel and do the comb coils and then be like all right you have dreadlocks and then they go home and they think everything's okay it's going to work just fine they'll even take it a step further and not even wash their hair for maybe two months so that it stays in the form. And then what happens is they wash their hair afterward and everything comes undone and they're upset. Then they have to go back to the loctician and redo everything. A lot of locticians don't explain that this takes a while for it to even initially lock up. I would say at minimum six months for it to initially lock up. And I would say at minimum 12 months before it starts to mature into actual dreadlocks and not unravel. So don't do the twisting with gel route if you're not up for taking the time to go to that six month mark of the initial locking and trust me during those six months you're going to have to be doing retwists you're going to have to be maintaining the sections make sure that they're still there and if you're not willing to do it yourself you're going to have to pay a loctician to do it for you so like we see right here they come out looking extremely well put together but you have to maintain those sections and you have to keep getting retwists for them to keep that traditional look now really quick a disclaimer you can do this obviously if you want to go this route of going the journey but don't be upset if you choose this route and it's not happening as quick as you would like it to but of course if you do want to choose this route i'm gonna tell you guys what you can do all you do is you create your sections and i think that's an awesome way of doing it is putting some gel on the actual comb itself and then combing out that section so that you're already working the product into the hair. And obviously just make sure that all your sections are good to go and then you twist the hair. All you do from there on out is just maintain your sections and that's really all there is to it. Now what's the downside of this? It's going to take over a year for your hair to lock up. You're going to have to use quite a bit of product because you're doing multiple retwists throughout the year. At minimum, you're going to be doing at least six hard retwists throughout the year. Now what's the downside of using product? You're going to have buildup in the dreadlock and at the scalp. You can see all the Product that's coming out of the dreadlock right there if you don't squeeze that out it's going to result in buildup because what happens is your scalp becomes dry it flakes off and then those flakes go off into the dreadlock and becomes buildup so less products means that you're gonna have less buildup in the long run now what's the flip side of this if you don't want to go this route how do you get instant locks and how do you get them today it's really simple as long as you have the right tools and yeah that's right I said tools not products and the number one tool for getting dreadlocks instantly is using a crochet hook all it takes is you knowing how to use the tool and you can have dreadlocks instantly. I did a video recently on my main channel where I gave someone dreadlocks and it took me only two and a half minutes per dreadlock, coming out to a total of only two hours to give him a full head of dreadlocks. And those aren't gonna be washed out. You can retwist them if you want, you can do them in hairstyles. And it was just simply instantly locking up the hair. So that's the flip side of things versus doing it this route, which is more traditional. And a lot of people don't know that there's other ways of doing it. And by far the best way of getting dreadlocks is using a crochet hook. So since it is the best way, I'm gonna link one down below. All you have to do is click the link in the top of the description. You can get one today. Now, how exactly do you go through the process of doing instant locks versus what we see right here? So instead of using locking gel, instead of using a comb and you don't even have to use water, all you'd have to do is just literally create the section 
and lock it up with the course hook. And that's really all there is to it. It's just one tool and two steps. Create the sections, create the locks. Versus with this, you have four or more products and you have so many different steps. You have to create the section. You have to put the gel in. You have to do the comb coil. You have to do the twist. There's so many different steps. And not only that, but you have to keep doing these steps throughout that first year. And pretty much until your hair finally locks up. And of course, after that, you just keep maintaining it by doing retwists. The thing about instantly locking up the hair, once it's locked, you're good. That's all there is to it. But this turned out looking great. But do you want to put in that time and effort of having to keep getting it retwisted and going to a loctician if you're not going to do it yourself? There's just a lot that goes into it. So this video isn't telling you not to do it. This video is just letting you know that there are other ways of doing it. And if you want to instantly lock up your hair, you can definitely do it using a crochet hook. But if this video helped you out, you're definitely going to like this one. And make sure to subscribe because it's always good to watch these videos for dreadlock inspiration. See you guys next time. Peace.